right, moving on to our next pitch, Remune, a genetics-free approach to producing potent T cells in a bedside manner for cancer, autoimmunity, and infections, presented by Tarek Fami. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much. It really, it is um, a great opportunity to be here. I'm honored and grateful for the next four minutes, 30 seconds or so. Um, so uh, if you look at the word innovation in Wikipedia, you'll notice that the definition says something, I'll read it out for quickly, it is the conception, production, adoption, exploitation, uh, added for, to make something, make added value to something, or a new added value to life. They don't mention the word integration, and that's critical, and that's actually what we'll focus on here, because uh, what we are doing is integrating old concepts, understandings, basic science, with uh, new technologies, material engineering, material science, to create what will turn out to be the first bedside type device for cell therapy, which is currently relegated to fringe therapy, not as synonymous as drug therapy. So um, this is currently the status of cell therapy. Patient cells are extracted. This is a patient with cancer. God forbid any of us get this. Um, Cancer uh, T cells are extracted from the patient. A certain subset is selected that is responsive for those tumor cells, epitopes. Those are expanded in number and then expanded again, and then the expanded cells are reinjected back into the patient, and you hope for the best. Um, the problem has been, and continues to be, that it's expensive, very toxic, because the cells that you're injecting are in large numbers, uh, limited accessibility, as well as uh, slow to activate. These are cells that are not very happy in those large numbers going back in the body. Um, that's fun funny because the body is able to produce immune cells very efficiently um, to eradicate infections and, and even small uh, metastatic cancers. So uh, what's, why are those cells not working very well? Um, there's a reason for that. And I'll tell you in, in 10 seconds. There are other issues with this process, and I'm emphasizing this process because this is the reason why cell therapy has been a fringe, and that's why CAR-T therapy currently is really making a lot of headlines. Complex process, not point of care, inefficient, expensive, lengthy, all that stuff. What we're aiming to do is this, is make the world's first um, inline bedside cell therapy. This looks like a filter, looks like something that any clinician would actually use in their procedures, a catheter. But the trick here is this end part, which is what we call the T-cell bioreactor or the expansion bioreactor, which is essentially a recapitulation of physiological signals, all encapsulated in a small device, a foot, small footprint. Uh, these signals are listed here. I won't go into them in detail, but they are critical for the potency of the T-cells and their expansion number. We call this an artificial lymphatic node, actually, because it is. And uh, it does look kind of like a lymph node when you take a close look at the inside of this device. And because it's presenting all those clustered signals within a high surface area with flow, with ch the proper charge. And this is the work of 10 years of research and development in our lab and at least 10 publications, four different patents, and uh, we're very happy about it. Uh, the results that we have achieved so far to date, and this is just a sampler of those results in which you see that cells produced by this, this device actually lead to better um, tumor, um, the killing of tumor cells compared to standard methods of creating cells. These cells also proliferate in large numbers after six, seven days. Sorry, this axis is not showing. Um, these cells are also very good at killing tumor cells in vivo. That's the black mark in here with this technology, which we call um, CNP. All right. So what we're looking for is to make this into uh, proceed very quickly in the next uh, couple of years towards clinical trials. It's an aggressive, aggressive timeline in which the first year we will dedicate to optimizing the device, testing it side by side with CAR T cells, and in fact using it with CAR T cells, and um, to show how well it works and show how it can improve our current therapy, our current uh, cell therapies, our current gold standards. And then we plan to go straight to the clinic. This is a packageable, sterilizable system that can be easily made at GMP clinics. We can, I made one myself actually, and uh, it was impressive, although it was a beta 
bit of product. And uh, I, I, I very, very strongly feel, um, feel that this is a, a new era for cell therapy. Thank you very much. Are you going to need a, a PMA for approval from the FDA when this finally is, oh, is finished? That's a, that's a good question. So the, the great thing about this is all outside the body. First of all, we are not using PMA for activation. We are using um, NTCD3 or peptide MHC molecules. And it's all done outside. And the only thing that goes inside the body is, or are, the expanded T cells. Because the device is literally a filter. What sort of level of approval are you going to need from the FDA? OK, so this is the device. This is going to be a medical device. And um, we're taking a, uh, I forgot the numbers, forgive me, 510K. That's, that's the procedure that we are going forward with. And right behind you are the gurus. We are, started a, we are starting a company, um, actually, with this, and uh, Kumar Papa Dimitrios and, uh, and, and James Stephen back here from the UK are investing and uh, making this into a reality. But we do need uh, further assistance to get this going faster and with, uh, with more other options. Yeah. Thank you very much. Any other questions? Okay,